Hey, it's Louise from Unique Lullaby, and I'm now joined with Avalanche Party in the Macbeth in London. How are you guys feeling? Looking forward? Yeah. Good. yeah. Feeling good. Yeah, it's yes. going to be good. You're sound checking as well. And I, s- I did see you're going to play some new material tonight, so... Uh, How do you know? I know, Facebook stalking. You? What? Jimmy, did you tell her? You told Rumours her. going around. Just keep it quiet, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. Is this the first time you're going to be playing it live? Yeah. If we do it, yeah. If you do it. If we do it. Yeah. yeah. Going to see how it goes. Mm. But it's really nice. It's Independent Venue Week this week. And independent venues are so important for upcoming bands. And how has they kind of impacted you as a band? Do you think they're just important to get any like, new music out there? Well, exactly like that. I mean, the only venues we played starting off of independent venues, and most of them still are. Yeah. Like, starting off, that's how you go about your business, isn't it? Yeah. Playing in pubs, putting gigs on. Absolutely. So yeah, it's really important. Yeah, because I first caught you guys at Liverpool Sound City when you played the Baltic oh, right. Social, which was like an interesting one. It was very small for like the Cracking energy that you venue, bring yeah, to the yeah, stage. Yeah. 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 That. I don't. I don't. I don't know. Do nice burgers, support your oh, local it. restaurants. Yeah. You get any free? Yeah. Burgers. That's yeah. support your local burgers. It's important. But you've also played like BBC Introducing Stage at Reading and Leeds, and you've played Isle of Wight Festival. Mm. So how does it kind of compare when you go from you know a small venue like that to play in those bigger stages? You don't really notice, yeah. do you, whilst it's happening? It's just yeah. a different stage. We've probably played every single stage you can imagine mm. yeah. as well. Yeah. Played like squat gigs yeah. to big festivals. Like, yeah. Well, yeah. this is it. Because you, like, you guys like to get in the crowd as well and have that kind of audience engagement. So, I mean, it must be Sometimes, quite... Sometimes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when you feel like it. <laughs> but you've played a few gigs in Europe as well. How yeah. do they receive you over there? Because I've heard a lot of bands say that they kind of they stand or sit and listen to you quite intently in Europe. I don't know. I think people are much. I don't know. There's a different kind of ethos to putting on gigs and going to gigs. I think. Yeah, well, I that's, that's what you notice. Know. The audiences are pretty similar, really. Yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't say it's any more static to playing over here. Yeah. Played some. We played like our first gig in Europe was in this little tiny cafe in Brussels. Yes. Oh really? It's about sixty people in it and about thirty people in the street outside. It was mental. Really? Yeah. They like weren't static either. Yeah. No. <laughs> they were well involved. That's good. But your, your the production of your tracks is huge. Like you've got such like high octane in there and it's kind of like musically quite cinematic as well, which is really nice. It kind of, you know, it feels like a bit like film like in your in your sound. But it seems like you've musically progressed quite well from like money and revolution to million dollar man and porcelain. So have you found like kind of the engagement from that as a band, you've just learnt new things about each other and when you're kind of coming together musically? Progressing. Yeah, it's just yes. spending more yeah. time, more time writing. Yeah. Getting better at what we do. Like really. the, the earliest, like the, the songs you mentioned before, the, the like Money and Revolution and stuff, they were quite early singles that were released as a mm. band. It was a different lineup for a start. Yeah. Um, and yeah, yeah, like writing songs together as a five piece that we are now, like, yeah, just progressing the songs yeah. as we go along. Absolutely. Because you recorded Million Dollar Man quite locally in Young Thug Studios, I did see. Yes. How was it recording in there? Because I had a look at some videos of like the studio and it looked really cosy and quite like a nice yeah. place to record. <laughs> it's a working man's club. Yeah. Oh, really? It's just upstairs. In oh, no yeah. way. It's above, like, you can hear the bingo going on on a Tuesday It's all bingo night. and dominoes oh, really? downstairs. Bingo and dominoes. Really? Yeah. You're not trying to put that on one of the tracks? On the <laughs> it's on them all, whether we Is like it? it <laughs> you just got to listen hard, have you? Yeah, you can check yeah. it out. <laughs> the remix. Check the production on that one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I really like the video for Million Dollar Man as well. It feels like it's very cinematic in itself and it's got that kind of Agatha Christie vibe, you know, with the whole chase and stuff. But the concept was cool, you know, it kept you going. Where was it filmed? It was really good. Filmed in a... Um, the main bit of it... Filmed in an awful village called Stave. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know where Stave is? I don't, I don't. Right, My right. geography's pretty bad. Yeah, it's a little little village... It's just up the coast from Whitby. From Whitby, okay. yeah, so. I've been to yeah. Whitby. Okay. Yeah. But it's a lovely, it's a lovely spot. Yeah. yeah, yeah, nice in the summer. Yeah. Lovely, nice harbour. Yeah, 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 it's really nice. Got a couple of drone shots in there as well at the end. It's very uh, <laughs> dramatic. It's nice. It's good. But all your videos are as well. Like, I, I looked at I'm So Wet, which, just as a disclaimer, don't type in I'm So Wet without putting Avalanche Party after it because different things come up. And it's not, it's not great. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. But how was it filming that video? Because it looked quite fun to film, you know. Freezing. <laughs> it was it? It was, a, it was a laugh, but yeah, we've got a habit of filming videos in February. Yeah. It was really cool. It was like, we filmed it in a warehouse and it just snowed. And like, obviously, yeah, there was a rain machine going on, but it, I, I don't think the water was hot, was it? No, oh, no, it's freezing cold. It's, it's freezing, freezing cold. Straight really? from the tap of this warehouse. The rain machine yeah. was, was actually Kane's scaffolding. Mixed with a uh, 
just a drain, not, not a drain pipe, hose a hose pipe. pipe. Yeah. With, with, Hold, we drill holes, 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 yeah. holes in it. Really? He made some wonderful scaffolding. Uh, lovely. You've got to do it. All about Shall DIY. It's all about DIY. In isn't? every sense. <laughs> yeah. But you're working with KEXP very soon. You're going to be doing some live stuff for them. Yeah, That's going to be amazing. Yeah. How are you feeling about that? It's a brilliant station to be on. Really exciting, yeah. yeah. Like, we've seen loads of videos just there, the live session. I think any, years, any band so. that we like is in a session for them. So it's gonna be it's gonna be good. It's nice, just it's kind of like they've they've been really supportive over the past couple of months, few months. Yeah. Um. Yeah, really looking forward to it. And you're gonna be off to America as well very soon. That is very yeah. exciting. Yeah, How I mean, you going back for like it, like that's been nice in the run up to that as well. Yeah. You know, so, but yeah, America's looking like it's gonna be a good fun, like mm. a fun trip. Absolutely. Have you got fans there already? Because I can imagine music would go down very, very well We've in America. Definitely got four, Million, four fans. Over four fans. <laughs> Those um, four fans are gonna travel it around then. You know? <laughs> Actually, I'm just. Word of mouth. You can definitely count on two ones, I think. We've got some fans. We've got some fans. You've got some fans. That's got good. some fans. <laughs> Keep them rounded up, it's yeah. nice. None of them are going to be in Austin, but... Oh. Yeah. But they're there, they do exist. <laughs> they, they have got fans. No, it'll, be, it'll be good. Again, that's a festival we wanted to do for a long time. Yeah, yeah. it's been on the list. And just going to, to America as well and playing yeah. as a band is going to be... Going to Walmart. Yeah, oh, <laughs> going to <a> Walmart. <laughs> that's it. Get some chocolate. Buying milk. some... Buy what you want in a Bring Walmart. Bring some souvenirs, souvenirs back. Back. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough, yes you do. <laughs> so what's going on behind the scenes for you guys? Have you been working on anything at the moment or anything we can see coming up this year? Oh, I'm glad you asked. Yeah. Louise. Yeah. Doing a, we're working on our album, debut album. Yeah. At the moment. Um so yeah, just putting the final tweaks on that. Amazing. Um I'm not too sure when it's gonna be released yet. No idea, but we're we're doing it. But we are doing it's it. Happening. Yeah. It's gonna happen. Where have you kind of been recording that? Has that been in the same studio? At Young Thugs again, yeah. 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 So again, listen out for the dominoes. Yeah. <laughs> we were there for, I think it was three weeks or something in December. Yeah. All right through. 20 hour days, Christmas Day, New Year's Eve. Just in there doing our album. Oh, wow. I think Brilliant. that's why it sounds so celebratory. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Very festive. That's nice. That's good. <laughs> So guys, just to finish off, if you, because I think your sound would go right down really well in the seventies, and you, if you really punked it up and went went full full frontal with it, so if you could take a full, <laughs> even more full frontal than even it, more. even more full wow. frontal, I know, crazy. So if you could take a track back of your own and record it in the seventies, which one of your track would you take back and record? Tricky. That's a question we've been asking. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's tough on that, isn't it? What yeah. would you say? Wonderwall. <laughs> <laughs> don't know, it's an interesting one, that one. Maybe something like Porcelain or something. Yeah. yeah. Actually, we've got a song. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's yeah. a good point. Howl. Yeah, that Howl. is a song we Howl's actually did record like in the 70s. A song called Howl. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. good. Time traveling. Very slayed yeah. Christmas number one kind oh. of. Slap back on it. <laughs> Can't wait That'd for that. That'd be ideal. <laughs> That's yeah. going to be good, featuring dominoes. <laughs> uh, well, guys, thank you so much for chatting to me thank today. Yeah, and I'm really excited to catch you live again. And, you know, we'll be clambering over chairs this time, so it might be a little bit nicer. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much.